Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to emulate PlayStation 3 games on a Linux based machine such as Ubuntu using the RPCS3 emulator. It's actually really, really simple. So what you want to do, actually this is a little disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. This is not condoning piracy. I am saying that you need to own PlayStation 3 to do this not that you know you physically technically need to own one but legally you should own one and the games that you are playing as well so again this video is not condoning piracy this is for educational purposes so what you want to do is go to your web browser go to rpcs3.net i'll provide links to everything that you need and it is rpcs3 and now go to download go down select download for linux I'm going to cancel it simply because I've already got it downloaded. Then go to Quick Start. And what you want to do is go to this link here. And we need to download the latest official PlayStation firmware. Again, click Agree to Download. I will cancel it because I've already got it downloaded. And that's it. You don't need to download anything else to get RPCS free up and running. Now, if we go to our Downloads folder or wherever it is. There's one thing that we need to do is change the permission on this. Also, I would recommend renaming this. The reason being is it's just easy to deal with because otherwise it's just hard, you know, because of the long name. So keep the dot app image extension. I recommend renaming it to RPCS3. You could potentially put in a folder with that version on there if you want to keep track of versions, but I recommend renaming it. Now, if we go to terminal, and we need to change directory to our downloads folder. And now we need to essentially change the permissions of this file. Because what we want to do is run the file. To run the file, you do dot forward slash rpcs3 dot app image. And it's nothing there. Okay, so I... Uh, there you go. Say permission denied. So it's only it, you can't you know execute it at the moment. But to be able to execute it, you put chmod a plus x, and then you put the actual app image. So dot four slash rpc s three. As you can see, it's just easier if it's renamed something simple to type it in there. You can use the shift to be able to get all of it, but I still think easier this way now if you click enter that's it now all that does is say you know add read permissions and if we were to go here right click property go to permissions that was unselected before now it's selected you might think can't can't just go directly here and select that you could the reason i didn't and i chose a slightly longer method this is universal for all linux distros that's the reason. I just wanted to make sure it was covered regardless, regardless of what Linux version you was on. Now, if we try and run it, it runs. There we go. Okay, so we click. I've read the quick start guide. Click continue. I've got some games already added, but I'll show you how to do that in a second. What you want to do is go to file, install firmware, and you need to go to your download directory, wherever that is. Select that file that you downloaded from the PlayStation website. Click open. And this will start installing that. Click OK. OK, what happened there? Let's run it again. OK, that's all done now. That error probably won't happen for you. I think it happened because I already set it up before and I try to reinstall the firmware. That's the first time it's happened. And it seems like that's the only, you know, different variable. So it should be fine. But if it doesn't, you know, just retry it. Okay, so now what you want to do is go to configuration, go to GPU. Most of this, this stuff you can, you know, leave as default. We'll go to renderer. Most games will work better with Vulkan. The odd one will open GL. Bit of experimentation, but do Vulkan as default. And this right color buffers, if you're using Demon Souls, your Demon Souls at the bottom, you need to select. So it's required for Demon Souls. 
the default resolution leave that as it is it even says at the bottom unless you know the game that you're running supports 1920 by 1080 otherwise just leave it as 720 if you want to modify the resolution to increase the fidelity use the resolution scale instead again there's some other properties here if you know what you're doing feel free to have a look we we'll recommend that you leave it as the same last thing before we try and run a game is if you go to configuration pads you can you know configure up to seven controllers because that's how many controllers that the playstation 3 supported you can go to handlers so you could select a keyboard you could you know connect up a dualshock 4 for example and you could plug that in just using you know a, a micro usb cable and i'm just going to leave you as default with the keyboard obviously in this video isn't about me playing it but just getting it up and running and obviously i can modify these so i could click on this you know press another key i'm going to keep it as r and again i'm happy with keeping everything as default and everything as it is then you could you know change the profile as well now to actually you know you know open these and run these games here you can either go boot game or add games but if it's not in your what's it called if it's not in your like on your computer model on external drive go to the external drive we've got all these games that i've ripped myself via the ps3 and if you just select this folder where all the games are just drag that on it just essentially adds them i've already got them added so you, you know it won't appear for it, it, there's no visual difference but all these games will appear when i drag this on all these games will appear if the compatibility says that it's missing you just right click and go to download compatibility database and it brings the compatibility up so the one game that i have that is playable i've confirmed it's playable and it is it has a compatibility of green and playable is minecraft so i'll show you that working if you double click it So I can get into the game. And let's just load this up. And I can click Alt Enter to maximize as well. I don't really like the animation that you know, for the maximizing on Linux. So again, I can play it, move around. If it doesn't feel 100% smooth, it's just because I'm recording. I'll turn the volume down a bit, even though it is zooming. Even though the what's it called? Even though it doesn't look 100% smooth, it's just because I'm recording a video as well. When I tested it without recording, it was silky smooth. And that's it. So I am going to exit out of here. Yeah, that's fine. Another thing I want to say before we just wrap this video up is when I double click this, it looked a lot different to how you'll look for you for when you launch a game for the first time. What it what essentially happened is because I've already done it once for Minecraft. So if I try and launch up a uh, Modern Warfare, if I double click that, this will come up compiling PPU modules and it will take a bit of time. It will. And then you'll do this. A few of these will pop up and then the game will launch. So I just wanted to show you this. Just in case you launch a game and think, oh, it didn't look the same as mine, but it will look the way Minecraft did once it's already compiled these. So you only need to compile it once per game, and that way you'll just get the ones that you know it already has. And again, depending on the game, depending on the computer, it may or may not take a bit of time. It is taking quite a while on my computer just because I'm recording. And again, you know, there's quite a few things that it needs to do. But now we're here then, as you can see. Okay, so far Modern Warfare 2 seems to be running better than I was imagining, to be fair. Okay, but I'll end the video here. That is pretty simple. If you have any questions, though, feel free to pop me a message. So I showed you how to emulate PlayStation 3 games on a Linux machine using RPCS3. If you want to know how to do it on Windows machines, feel free to take a look at the video I've created on that. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next awesome emulation video.